Why is the school's first priority intellectual development, asked Nell Noddings. Instead, perhaps the aim of education should be to produce competent, caring, loving, and lovable people. Hello, I'm Dr. Yuling Li, an education professor, and in this video we'll discuss Nell Nodding's theorizing education as an ethic of care, and how her research is helpful for teaching and learning. Links to her research are included in the video description. Nell Noddings was the Lee L. Jacks Professor of Child Education at Stanford University. She was a prominent philosopher of education, emphasizing the significance of caring as foundational for ethical decision-making at home and in the classroom. Nodding's research centers around the concept of caring as a fundamental aspect of education. She believes that genuine care and concern for students' well-being are essential for effective teaching and learning. According to Nodding's, the teacher-student relationship should be characterized by empathy, trust, and a sense of mutual responsibility. Quote, Everything we do, then, as teachers, has moral overtones through dialogue, modeling, the provision of practice, and the attribution of best motive, the one caring as teacher nurtures the ethical idea. She cannot nurture the student intellectually without regard for the ethical ideal unless she is willing to risk producing a monster. While Noddings believe that trying to create a systematic guide for caring would be a mistake, she does suggest three essential aspects of caring. First, engrossment. This is her term meaning thinking about someone to better understand them. Caring requires understanding the other person's situation before deciding how to help. It doesn't mean being overly fixated on them, just paying attention enough to comprehend their perspective. Second, motivational displacement. This occurs when the one caring prioritizes the needs of the person they are caring for, making their actions primarily about helping the other person. Third, recognition and response. Caring requires the person being cared for to acknowledge and respond to caring actions of the caregiver. When the cared for recognizes and appreciates the caring efforts, the caring process is considered completed in the other. Some scholars have criticized Nodding's ethics of care, stating that it may be one-sided. Nodding's responds by emphasizing reciprocity. This means that caring is a two-way relationship involving dialogue and exchange, where both parties can learn and benefit from the experience and appeal to principles. However, implementing reciprocity can be complex, especially in unequal relationships like between students and teachers. So how can educators adopt Nodding's ethics of care in the classroom? She proposes that education from a care perspective involves four key elements, modeling, dialogue, practice, and confirmation. Modeling. Educators focus on nurturing individuals as both caregivers and recipients of care. Instead of merely teaching moral reasoning, they demonstrate caring through their actions and relationships with students. Dialogue. Engaging in conversations about caring is crucial within this perspective. It helps us explore different ways of caring, understand our relationships better, and evaluate our caring efforts. Dialogue also contributes to the growth of those receiving care. Practice. Immersing students in caring experiences fosters a caring mentality. Giving students opportunities to practice caring and reflect on their experiences helps cultivate caring attitudes. Confirmation. Confirmation sets caring apart from other moral educational approaches. It involves affirming and encouraging the best in others, recognizing their striving for admirable goals, and providing trust and continuity in our caring relationships. Nell Nodding's Ethics of Care in Education emphasizes the relational and reciprocal aspects of teaching and learning. By nurturing caring relationships, educators can create a positive and supportive learning environment that fosters holistic development. Its application can lead to more engaged, empathetic, and socially responsible learners. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video inspires you to explore the transformative potential of caring classrooms. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more educational content. See you next time.